How are you doing? I've been reading what could actually be causing the damage that this engine suffered. Uh, now it's an aluminium silicon or alucil casting block here. Uh, there's an awful lot of information and it's a well-known subject. There's tons of research out there. For example, um, this article here, um, which has been extensively peer-reviewed in the International Materials Journal. There's tons of it out there. Anyway, um, the bottom line is this material can distort if it's subject to excessive thermal or mechanical stress, or of course both. Uh, so let's take a look at the design that Porsche have employed on it. In this engine design, there are two sets of three opposing pistons, one set here and one set here. And you can see um, they're kind of in this this pattern here, how they've offset them. So this block ends here, and we've got this extra material here. Now Porsche have taken away some of this material and bridged it to strengthen it here. However, there's still a lot of extra material there. Let me show you. Right here, so this is the bottom of cylinder six we're looking at here. Um, and you can see this, this is quite unique because we've got these main bearings plus this additional one for the flywheel end. And this is the only cylinder uniquely out of the crankcase castings that carries these three all around the area of cylinder six. None of the other cylinders have them. They only have two. Uh, so we've got three sets of two. Um, crankcase securing bolts, which are quite chunky things. Imagine the torque going through here to clamp those crankcases together, and it's all occurring around this area. Now, what Porsche have done in this area is used it for um, the main artery from the oil pump. So we have oodles of oil being pump through there at up to 60 pounds per square inch flowing down here. And this is uh, oil that's been picked up freshly and it's obviously going to be cooler uh, from the oil pan. And it's feeding the entire engine with a gallery coming just up here, feeding through all these holes um, into the main bearings and other channels up to the heads. This is the opposing cylinder crankcase. And you can see there's no additional um, material. There's a gap here on the last one. This one here comes right up to the end. You can literally see it's casting here. Uh, so this is quite unique at six, cylinder six with that. The water jackets on these crankcases work like this. It's water in and it's free to flow around and back out. It's bridged and then it flows in and it flows back out here. Cylinder six is water jacket being right at the back. So if I had to um, explain what's causing additional stresses in this cylinder, I'd have to say, it's because it's running cooler at the bottom with this additional material plus the oil uh, artery running right past. And then to top it all, it's right at the back um, with the hottest water flow. Uh, so I think the temperature gradients experience in bet experience between the top and the bottom uh, are going to be far higher stress factor wise than any other cylinder so cylinder six is in the firing line in that respect on top of that it's got additional um, mechanical stress being clamped in three places so what i mean by stress is the uh, fluctuation from one point to another point so for example from hot to cold um, and this gradual cycling over time in a casting 
uh, can cause the crystal line structure to very slowly realign over time. And the same goes with mechanical pressure, um, so that clamping pressure over time. And of course, that's also affected by thermal cycling, um, the two together. Uh, so could it be um, it's just an inherent design problem with this crankcase? Um, obviously, the more extremes of these two points um, over time that are going to occur will occur the harder that you drive this car. For example, if you're driving it a lot on the autobahn um, or quite regularly on the track, then it's going to be ex experiencing these two different um, points, I call them extremes, but they're not, and it's just normal operating parameters, uh, but cycling um, in a far more kind of aggressive way. So it just seems to me uh, the more power that you're going to be putting through this engine more regularly, it's, you know, you're at danger of causing this distortion.